In this video, we're going to be using SAP Business Objects Data Services to take data from an Excel XLS file and load it into SAP HANA. So the first thing we need to do is to log into Data Services. So we do that by going to Start. We can access that from All Programs, Data Services, and we choose the Data Services Designer. Log in with your credentials. So for me, it's student and the password is welcome one and then it logs you into the system so we import our Excel files in our seventh tab four five six seven we choose the Excel workbooks tab and we right click and select new so the first thing we need to do is give this a name. So I'm going to call this Excel. Spreadsheet. We then choose the file. So I'm going to click on the drop down. Select file. And in my library I have an Excel spreadsheet. You should know that you should use earlier versions, 2007 versions of Excel, not XLSX files. We can choose a specific name range or a specific worksheet. So normally the Excel files have multiple worksheets. Okay, the file I'm going to import is on is in my library. So if I go to Windows Explorer and go to my library and go to here we have both XLS and also the newer XLSX formats as, uh, format as well of an Excel document and what I've done is I've created a named range and this this part of the data here is that named range so you'll see how we import that using data services so back in data services what I need to do is go to my seventh tab so again, that's my, my file format. So it's the seventh tab here. And within Excel workbooks, we're going to right click and select new. I'll give it a name. So I'm going to call it STS orders. And then I need to choose the file from um, in the file format area on the screen. So I'm going to say, say select file. And I can choose either again an XLS or an XLSX file. Now, because this XLSX has a named range, which is essentially a part of the data, I can either select a worksheet. So if I select the worksheet, I can select the worksheet where the data is, because in XLS files, you can have multiple worksheets within an Excel spreadsheet. Or if, the, if I'm worried that I want to import multiple files over, over time, and I just want to import this, the, and the name of the worksheet may change, I can select the number of the worksheet as well. But we've got a name range, so I can go and click on the drop down and select that name range as so. So the first thing that we want to do is use the first row values as a column name, and then we can click on Import Schema. So by default, when the data comes in, you'll see that most of the time it's imported as a VARCAR255. And any of the values, for example, here are imported as data type double. But of course, I can manually change that by clicking on the data type and actually changing those data types. So I'm going to change these two integers. So the next step then is just to click on OK and make sure that we've got data. So the easiest way to do this is by right clicking on the workbook and selecting view data. And there we can see we've got data in our Excel spreadsheet. So now to import the data. So to do this, we need to build a new project. So I'm going to call this Excel. I'll create a new job called Excel. And lastly, I'll create a new data flow in the job called Excel. Again, a job can have multiple data flows. So now that we've got, we're on our data flow level, I can import the Excel workbook as a source, select it on the canvas, and again, by clicking on the magnifying glass, I can see the data within that spreadsheet. We have an ID. 
And if you want to make any changes to the data, again, what you can do is double click on your file format, make the change here. So I'm going to change this actually to an integer. Click on OK. And when I've done that, if I double click on my STS orders, we can see that any objects that I place on the canvas has already has automatically been changed as well. So lastly, what I need to do is simply, because we have a primary key defined in the data set, which is this integer, then all I need to do is select our query transform, select the template table. I'm going to load this into a HANA database in the schema STS, and I'm simply going to call the file Excel. Then I'll click on OK. Now the reason we had to add the query is because again if you load to a column store table you need to load it with a primary key. And yes that the Excel spreadsheet has a primary key. However quite simply if I join the spreadsheet to the query transform and the query transform to Excel when I click on the query you can see that data services doesn't know that that first column is a primary key. It knows that it's a unique integer but it doesn't know it's a primary key. So again, to select all the columns, I can click on all the columns, drag them to the right-hand side. And the only thing I need to do is right-click on the actual unique um, identifier column and make it known that this is a primary key to HANA. Then, of course, I can load this to a column store table. So the last step is to execute the job. So I can do this by right-clicking on the job and select Execute. I can then click OK and the job will execute. Now there's a few ways you can verify that the data is there. One way of course is to make sure that the job finished and that there were no errors and you would see errors within the red, um, you would see a red circle within the error tab. The second step is to go to the monitor tab and I can see that 5,000 five, five rows were taken across from the Excel spreadsheet to HANA. And lastly of course a simple way to verify is to go to the data flow and select the magnifying glass of the target object. So if I click on the magnifying glass now, because the template table has been created, we can see that we've got a table called Excel loaded in the schema STS within the HANA database. Now, of course, if I go to the SAP HANA Studio, I should also be able to verify that the data exists in SAP HANA. So quite simply, we select our system, we expand the catalog folder, we expand our schema, and in the tables folder, we have a table called Excel, and I can right click and do a data preview. So that's a very simple way in which we can take data from Microsoft Excel, and we can use SAP Business Objects Data Services to load that data into a SAP HANA database.